And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Looking at about uh, 77 more seconds uh, to clear this out. Look at how much cryo this thing has built. 46,700 cryo. It is crazy on how fast that's gone up in just the short amount of time that this thing has been running. Um, look how fast. Holy cow, it goes up fast. So yeah, we are... I mean, we're not really able to keep up uh, with all of this, which is, I mean, understandable. Um, that's why I, I like to use my my torch method to make sure I get line of sight because it's quite it's quite time consuming this process. Um, every time I've done it, you know, I've I've fought this stuff many many different ways, um, and no matter what I do it's always extremely time consuming just to get just to get to this cryo spawner so it's going to hit about 49,000 before it ends we got about 13 seconds left 12 seconds yeah 49,000 just almost it's going to be shy of 50 2 1 Okay, so a brain went somewhere. I don't know where. It does it does drop it does drop a brain. Okay, let's uh, fly over. Oh, I don't have I can't fly over. Uh, there it is, somewhere in there. I'll pick that up. I don't know why it flings it so far. It should just drop it. I don't know why it flings it. But uh, yeah, uh, this thing is now just set. It's There's not one within 64 meters. The, the nearest ones are 320 meters away uh, on the corners. Because uh, if I map this out, let's say this, that's your C5, okay? So a cryo spawner appears there, and that's a gap of two, so there, there, and there, but then also the corners around there, and there, and this is 320 meters, and this is 320 meters, so you have to go out and then in, um, so yeah, it's a lot of cryo so we like just killed like this one here we just took this one out and now there's seven more left so if you really want to push yourself you can you can work your way and and take out the rest of them um, which is not an easy task believe me uh, and it's very 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 time consuming some of this some of this stuff melted down here uh, so I can go back and we can do a final base tour now that the world download will be available to patreons uh, that is part of the part of the, uh, the good stuff that patreons get yeah look at this all this cryo over here uh, I can put in some cryo bombs maybe help because I don't have any Dazzlers over here right now. They're all focused over here. stuff on the top. No problem. Yep, there it goes. And you can also infuse these with cryo, uh, the, uh, freeze on, and they'll make them go even faster. Alright. 
but that is one one spawner so let's go do let's go a little do a little tour around here yeah look at that cryo came all the way up to here uh, I'm gonna put a couple more bombs over here in case somebody downloads this map they have a little something to a little something to look forward to they can take over from here and clear out the other seven spawners if they want but yeah I want to do a, another final base tour so let's start at the top and work our way down okay so we're gonna start at the smelting floor go up to the surface and show that uh, we kind of left the surface alone this time. Usually I really chew up the surface and I flatten it out and I dig it down. We started with a flat world this time around and I cleared as little as possible and basically left the surface alone. So, you know, if you were flying overhead, all you would see is a CPH and, you know, uh, the little ion cannons, because my my OET is still built, but you'd see a little lift and you'd be like, oh, this isn't too bad at all. I mean, he's eco-friendly. And then you can come down here and be like, okay, well, we've cleared out a considerable amount of stuff down here. Good times. And we've got copper, we've got cargo lifts for all of our ores. And we got cargo lifts to bring down our ores because, of course, we are in a toxic factory. And believe it or not, that nickel that we've been mining this whole time uh, actually lasted the whole game. Which is shocking. Should we go see how much is left? How far down is this? I think that this, this is below the gold caves, of course. But uh, I kind of I'm kind of curious to see how much is left out of out of this nickel vein here. Remember, this was only about 500k when we started. 58,000 left. That is amazing. We we made it all the way, and there's only 58,000 nickel left. How about that? So let's uh, fly back up to the smelting floor here. And uh, work our way back down again. Right to the end. That's pretty crazy. All right. So, uh, of course, we have our system for resin over here. And this is probably all full again. Because it has been a long time since I've cleared this out. Uh, and so if we go down, if you build this, if you build this beefy enough, you don't ever have to feed it. I didn't feed the hive at all uh, through this whole process because um, if you don't feed it, or if you if you mine it fast enough, uh, it's constantly going to try to encapsulate itself. So if you mine it fast enough, uh, you don't have any problems. Um, and so yeah, I didn't I didn't actually have to feed it this time around. Because it's constantly adding new blocks. Uh, Alright. And you I could upgrade this to resin or uh, nuclear nuclear uh, power, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so let's head down to the cold caves. We were just there, but let's do a uh, a little brief about that. Um, let's see. Old caves. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so cold caves we've got over here. We've got a freeze on system. I love that compact design. Still loving it. And we've got plenty in the system here. Oh yeah, that was a lot of freezing I just picked up. Good times. 
Uh, okay, so freeze on. We've got a little bit of power coming down here. We have matter movers to move uh, our initial fuel. We got the magma bore in the back. There's the C5. We've got six total blast furnaces on each one of our tier two ores or tier four ores. So we've got this shared one here, and uh, we are we are maxed out. So I'm gonna grab those two thousand empty fuel rods, and uh, we're gonna continue continue the tour here. So yeah, this is this is the beautiful magma bore right here already dug down and you can see oops, you can see this is the magma that's getting pulled up not sure what that stands for but hey it is what it is um, yeah we got lots of nuclear reactors that we could uh, use somewhere else we could tear those down and use those elsewhere if we needed to Right, so let's head down even further. The next stop is our toxic factory. So let's everything load in here. All right, so here we've got all of our ores or bars, smelted bars coming down. We have to smelt them above because smelters don't work deeper than about minus 25 depth. Um, so yeah, all of our bars are coming down. We're, we're sorting them all in and putting them into a bus on our toxic factory as well as some other, we have plastic being made. We have uh, crystal coming down and, and getting put in. And then we have the bus system. Anywhere we need the materials, we can just pull them right off the bus. Works very, very well. I, I love the bus system much better than anything I've come across before and then yeah we've got lots and lots of nuclear fuel that we could be utilizing here so I want to put in 200 there and why can't I put all 2000 in here I don't know but let's just drag them in <coughs> so that should uh, go a long ways to pulling out a ton of material. We got two of these getting pulled in. So there is our nuclear, this is my nuclear reactor mod here. That's what's driving this whole, this whole setup here. We have one reactor pushing 50,000 power, uh, but we're only using about 25,000 power per second. We got 24 of these running. And here's our chlorine setup. Basically the same design as um, the Freezon. All right. Ooh, this ran out of power. Uh, we're gonna want we're gonna want some fuel in there, definitely. Oh, Arthur's out of power already. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Arthur is it's this jetpack that I've got on. I'm gonna turn that off. So yeah, this is the toxic factory. Uh, we can go up and take a peek at this. So here's all of our research modules here. Nickel and then titanium. Going down into our research lab, down down here. And there's, there's still some research to do. So if anybody wants to download the map, uh, there is some research to do, some things to try out if you, if you so wish. So we've got basically everything automated here. Um, there's, these are all the modules. These are all experimental pods. But uh, you've got your conveyor two with my advanced GAX mod. Uh, then you have the laser transmitter Mark threes. You have battery Mark threes, all automated. And there's rack rails, and then we have the advanced machine blocks getting turned into imbued machine blocks with the Mark V um, booster. And this is my booster setup here. All, all five levels of booster on this one thing. It works really, really well. I'm really happy with this design. The only thing is you need to, it's very fast, and you just need to pump in enough uh, 
copper uh, coils and you need to push in enough power in order to get it to, to work right. And so here we have our heat conducting pipe. This is where our plastic comes in. Uh, and over here we have a little setup uh, for m automating the Mark V forced induction. This setup is massive. There's five different five different steps all the way down to get those Mark V forced induction. Not easy to craft, so it's good that those are automated. These things really suck the resources. This is where most of our nickel went right in there. And this little setup here is for the lenses. Uh, we've even got some we even got some left. Can you believe that? Uh, all right. So continuing the little, continuing the tour here. We're gonna head down to the next next thing um, over here. Uh, okay. So the next thing, next item down is the T4 ores. Right, so the T4 ore is fairly straightforward. Just a just your basic uh, setup for mining and uh, cargo lifting. The T4 ore is out. So let's see how much Molly we have left. Seven million. So yeah, we we went through a million just tried to just just to get to the perfect vein extraction, um, and that has helped keep keep that high keep that a lot of uh, a lot left so we're not chewing through the vein as fast anymore all right and here is the chrome with a bunch of nickel ready for ready for uh, ready for use right there if we ever needed if we ever needed more nickel which considering there's only 58,000 left in that vein holy cow I can't believe we've used all of that already so the next stop is the magma caves, um, and this is going to be a little warm, a little toasty, but this is where we're getting our sulfur. This is a very tiny sulfur system. See, we're pulling in sulfur here, mixing it up, and uh, making it work. So yeah, sulfur coming in. Uh, we've got quite a lot of it, 7,000 of it. Just from just from casually coming down here and grabbing some once in a while. Now, if you wanted more, you could always, you know, excavate out a bigger area down here. But you want to be below about a thousand and ten. So minus a thousand and ten, you want to be below that, in order to make sure everything everything is good. Uh, okay, so the last stop is the uranium depth. to go here let's let everything load in okay so we have a little a little issue with rendering I don't know why why it does that but it does I think it has to do with these trenchers I'm not sure but uh, yeah there's the uranium that we're what we're chewing through here and let's see how much of this stuff is left Oh, there's a lot left. 58 million. Yeah, there's a lot of that stuff left. This is good. These things are about 80% efficient. All right. Well, that'll do it uh, for the base tour. Uh, we covered pretty much the entire base, which is pretty good. So yeah, we're gonna. We're going to wrap it up. Look for a new series in a new game uh, tomorrow as I work on getting everything updated and downloaded and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that will do it for the series. Epic Fortress Craft Evolved uh, series, one after another. So uh, if, you, if you are in need of more Fortress Craft content, you know, check out a series that maybe maybe is older and you haven't you haven't watched, or you know, email the developer of the game and say, hey, you know, put out a new put out a a big 
expansion pack to to drive more interest and get me to get me to do another series <clears throat> so uh yeah that'll do it for this episode and i thank you for watching and i will see you next time